Hello, my name is Susan. I'm the receptionist at Flowcrete. We've moved into our new offices and they are amazing. It is so bright, light and the atmosphere has totally changed. The new building makes me feel happier actually. It's got um, constant temperature so it's all very nice and snug. It's a very nice environment for us to work in, very pleasant. We're here at Flowcrete's recently refurbished headquarters with Peter Dolby. Technical Services Director for Flowcrete, who's offered to take us on a tour of this remarkable new building. We're standing outside our new offices in Sandbach. We wanted a statement to be made by the building, the result of which is a rather dramatic round window. The idea of the round window was really because of the need for uh, a little bit of feng shui in the building, which is echoed throughout in terms of the flow of the, uh, the glass frontage. The building has no uh, central heating. Uh, boilers. We use an air source heat pumps This uh, as an alternative to ground source heat pumps but the result of which we have reduced the usage of uh, electricity by 93% compared to the previous buildings we were in. But we'll go inside now. The main area at the front entrance has a rather nice red swoosh of our Mondeco flooring. Uh, set within that is our strap line in brass letters for the world at your feet. So it also has um, various floor finishes, I mentioned Mondeco earlier. We have our Rustique and Flowfast Terrasso systems uh, running throughout. The patterns in the floor uh, are all sweeping lines all around the ideas of, of Feng Shui to avoid the sharp angles and uh, uh, awkward corners wherever possible. Towards the back of the building we have a courtyard which will have planters, seats, water features, an area where the staff can go and relax and, and have a little chat or again have informal meetings, we sometimes call them sunshine meetings if the sun ever shines, um, but just a little pleasant spot to just get out of the offices and to, to gain a bit of fresh air. We've just walked across the re main reception uh, having passed the managing director's uh, glass box as part of the principle of being available and on show and in contact with people, it was felt necessary to have that sort of uh, arrangement, which works very well. Could you tell us a little bit about the green roof that you've had installed? Uh, in the summer, um, we expect to see quite a lot of uh, insect life, and uh, we're also encouraging the birds to, to come and feed as well. But our site is a very hard uh, concrete type of environment, but this does bring back some of the greenness to the area. Um, it also adds to thermal insulation and acoustic uh, insulation so that in the summer it will ke help keep the temperature gain in the building down. I'm now here with Mark Greaves, Flowcrete MD. Well this is an iconic building for the northwest of England and it's an example to architects all over the UK of how to do a sustainable construction. The building uh, uses uh, air extraction, uh, gr ground sourced uh, heating um, so there's no boiler in the building and um, we've got uh, insulative uh, external renders that replicate brickwork uh, we've got a, a green roof actually a living roof that keeps the the building cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter solar panels to vent air around the uh, building and we've got our own proprietary underfloor heating system in uh, which circulates uh, hot or cold water depending on the requirement around the building uh, throughout the year um, the uh, building itself uh, is using a lot of recycled materials. We have recycled chopped up uh, mirrors and glass in the floors, the flow creek floors that are in the reception and around the building. It really is a very exciting building and I think an example for uh, industry in the north of England and, uh, and for the architectural community of how you can actually build a sustainable building that meets the needs of, of the people. It's a lovely environment to, to live in, it meets the needs of the business uh, and it also meets the needs of the planet. So that's really what the building means to the, to the north of England.